Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel admin panel development beginner tutorial and this is our part 8. Inside this video session guys, we are going to set the parent layout page settings. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel admin panel development tutorial. So in the previous video sessions guys, we had done about the theme settings into our Laravel framework. This is our admin LTA theme which we have downloaded in part number 2 and we have integrated in our previous video session. So if you back to editor, there are some blade files, there are some template files we have created in our last video. Something inside views folder. So if I scroll down. Here are the files called layout inside layouts folder. First of all, we have created a folder inside view something called admin. Inside this admin, we have two folders like layouts and views folder. This is our main page called dashboard.blade.php and basically it extends a parent layout and parent layout is stored inside layouts folder. Inside this layouts folder, here is the file something called layout.blade.php. So if I open up this file, and basically all these files are interconnected to each other to make all the proper layout of admin LTA theme. And also guys what we have done so far inside the whole playlist we have actually committed all the code to this github link. Just you go to this link and click on the commit section. If we click on the commit section we have uploaded about the each step about the video session something called the first commit about the migrations, creating models, creating controllers and finally what we have did inside the last video something called setting up the theme, header, footer, all we have done commit inside this github link. So you can download all the code from here. So back to editor. So this is our parent layout folder. Sorry parent layout. We are going to customize this parent layout according to our Laravel standards. So inside this file we have included two files something called our admin layout header file if I scroll down here we have a file called admin.layouts.folder so it means that basically we have included about the header file and the footer file inside this file so what basically header and footer files include so if I go to header file inside this header file we have included all the CSS file of this application and inside footer file we have included all the JS files by including these two files like header and footer inside this layout file we have some more codes inside this file as we can see that. So we can customize this file according to our need according to our Laravel standard syntax. So how can we change that? So first of all just go to your title and let me convert this title to something called ill directive. This is the ill directive of Laravel which basically a dynamic placeholder you can say. So let's say that this is for the title section. Scroll down. I am going to cut this header section from here. So if I wrap this header section, this is our header section. So I am going to cut this here. Go to header.file. Inside this header file, I am going to paste just right here. And I am going to paste all the codes right here. So just back to up. These are the basically scripts file. These are the style sheets file. So I am going to cut all these style sheets file from here. Go to layouts folder. Let's make a file something called styles dot blade dot php. This file basically includes all of our CSS files. So I am going to paste it here. And finally, after pasting all these style sheets, go to parent layout. And uh, first of all, we have to include the CSS files. So this is not about header. This is called styles, okay, which basically contains all of our CSS files. And finally, for the header, we have to include called admin layout. And inside this layout folder, we have called header, which basically contains the header part, okay. So I'm going to make a proper comment. So let's say that include header and this is include styles. Again if I scroll here 
we have a sidebar what basically it is this sidebar contains all the codes of this sidebar left panel also we need to separate the sidebar code into a blade file so I am going to cut this code from here also so just cut this code go to your layouts folder and let me say that sidebar or something left sidebar dot blade dot php press enter paste all codes here and finally we have to include this left sidebar into our parent layout so finally let's say that include left sidebar panel and also we need to include that so include let's admin layout dot left sidebar this is the file that we have made and now all the contents as we can see these are the contents of our dashboard what basically it is if you go to admin panel these are the sections like new orders bounce rate and all these metrics including all these charts all these details actually stored inside this HTML so just left this HTML for now if I scroll here we need to separate our footer section and this is our footer section before separating this footer section also we have to go to line number 551 and control sidebar I'm getting I am deleting all these codes from here because we are going to customize this admin panel according to our need okay so we are don't want this code anymore so I am going to cut this footer section from here go to your footer file open up your footer file and paste all the codes at the top of this page finally we have included that and also this file basically contains all of our JavaScript files so we need to separate all these codes from this file also so select all these JavaScript files cut from here again go to layouts folder make a file something called scripts dot blade dot php this file mainly contains all of our JS codes okay only we have separated and the footer file only contain the footer section so back to our parent layout first of all let me format into this page save this file go to parent layout and we have to change here something called admin layout dot this is only for the scripts this is including scripts after including these scripts we have to include our footer section so let me say that let's say that include footer here and this is footer and finally let's say include inside this admin dot let's say layouts dot and finally we have the file called footer so we have separated our scripts scroll up footer file and also we have separated our style sheets file header and the left sidebar now what basically we have to do next we have to cut all the dashboard section this is the code for the dashboard so I am going to cut this text from here cut this text go to your dashboard.blade.php this is the file and inside this file I am going to paste those codes so how can actually this layout knows about this code we have to make a dynamic placeholder here so for that let's say section this is let's say content and finally we have to show these are the directives actually Laravel provides for the placeholders let me include a comment so let's say that dynamic content only we have to define this content this is dynamic placeholder key inside this layout file means inside this dashboard file so first of all let's say that section this is a directive so section inside this section we have a key called content that we have defined inside our parent layout okay so this is finally we have to let's say in section 
inside this key, inside this placeholder, we have to paste all the HTML code that we have actually copied from this layout. So I'm going to paste all the codes and this is the code. So finally we have pasted all the codes inside this directive. Next we have to go inside our parent layout. So I'm going to scroll up. We have to next define our directive called title. This is also a dynamic placeholder. So copy this key, go to your dashboard file and let me define something called section. This is for the title and this is only to print the value of title. So I am going to let's say that this is our admin dashboard. So this is the title section and these are the contents that we have separated from our parent layout. So finally we have included each and everything and also we have customized our parent layout. And if we look about the parent layout page settings, it is looking much better from our previous code. So back to our browser, reload this page and as we have some errors, this is our compiled view file error. So how can we remove this file? So how can we identify, identify that this is a view compiled error because as we go inside this path, this is a dynamic file, this is a compiled file, actually Laravel creates as the temporary location inside this views folder. So how can we remove all these files? So go to terminal, inside this terminal if you type about the command called php artisan. So inside this as you can see that if you want to clear all the compiled files, here are the call view clear this is the command that we have to use apart from this compile view files laravel also creates some of the caches some of the routes more inside this application so how can we remove all these things these are the commands like if you want to remove our view this is the command we have to use if you want to clear our cache this is the command we have to use if you want to use if you want to clear our routes we can use this command so let's say that we are right now or we are getting about the few compiled error. So we have to remove. So let's say PHP artisan. Only we have to write something called view and clear. Plus enter. So compile views cleared. So if you go to browser, reload this page and also we have one more error. And this is the error of including file something called header not found. So back to editor. And this is about, this is not layout, this is layouts. And also in layout section because we have stored all these files called admin.layouts and this is the file name. So back to browser, reload this page and all as we can see that guys we have included our left sidebar, our dashboard and if I press ctrl U all these access files successfully we have integrated our parent layout. So this is all about the video session of customizing our parent layout all we have seen so far. So in our next video session guys we are going to actually make or we'll do about the proper integration of our assets file like uh, our header files called scripts. These are the JavaScript files and these are the CSS files. So in our next video session guys we are going to integrate about the proper way in our Laravel that how can we integrate our these files. This is the, this video is only about the parent layout customization. So if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.